All right guys, so we are gonna start off by brushing through our brows. And then from there, we are going to apply an eyelid primer to the lid and the brows to make sure that all of the products stay on our face all day. After you've applied a primer, you want to take any brow product that you choose and you want to outline your brows and fill them in very lightly. I'm using Wet n Wild's Color Icon Pencil in dark brown and I'm just going to fill in the tail end and also a few sparse areas that I may see. Alright, so this step is completely optional, but if you do choose to do this step, you want to take a concealer that is almost your skin tone or maybe a shade lighter and you want to pretty much shape and sculpt your brows into the shape you want them to be. I don't necessarily go and get my brows threaded, waxed, or what have you, so I use the concealer to kind of clean up and conceal any brow hairs that may be growing back. Once you're done doing that, you want to pretty much use a spoolie brush and brush through any of the hairs and kind of um, spread out any product. And then you want to set your brows with a brow gel. Taking any type of creamy base, I'm using Max Lay and Low Paint Pot. Um, you want to spread that all over the lid, not going past your crease too much. And you want to make sure you blend out any edges. Here I'm just applying a crease color that is pretty much the same color as my skin tone. This will make it easy to blend out any other colors that I place on the lid. Here I'm taking the Naked palette and I'm using the color Nooner. As my transition color, I'm applying that using a Sedona Lace Universal Blending Brush and I'm going to apply this to my lid not going above the transition color we laid earlier. Now I'm taking the darkest color in the palette which is Black Heart and I'm going to strictly apply that to the outer V and then turning the brush on its side I'm just going to kind of sweep it up so that it creates that gradual gradient effect. Now take the light pink color in the palette, this is Buzz, and apply that all over the lid. And make sure you blend that in with the other transitional colors that we already placed down as well. Now using a black liquid liner, I'm going to apply a slight wing to the eye and keep the liner as thin as possible. I don't want it to take over my lid. While I let my lashes set up with the glue, I'm just going to apply my primer to my face. I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and I've been enjoying it so far. This step is optional. I like to apply false lashes just to kind of enhance the look. And the way I learned how to put on lashes was here on YouTube, watching tutorials and practicing. Um, the person that I watched, I believe I got this method from Makeup Doll. She has a few tutorials on how to apply false lashes as well.
All right, so onto the face, you want to apply a foundation of choice. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NW50, and I'm using an e.l.f. flat top powder brush to apply it. I find that the flat top kabuki style brushes apply foundation very well, and it blends it out to a really nice finish. Make sure you blend your foundation out underneath the eyes and into the hairline. You don't want it to look like you have on a complete mask. Now taking a concealer that is two shades lighter than my skin tone. This is MAC Pro Longwear in NC45. I'm going to apply it with my fingers underneath my eye and blend it out with a beauty sponge, a damp beauty sponge at that. Make sure you take your foundation brush and blend out any harsh edges from the concealer so that it looks seamless into the foundation and then set it with a translucent powder I'm using NYC's Barely Beige. All right, so to add a little bit of warmth back to my face, I'm going to contour and I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheeks down the sides of my nose in the temple area. And I'm using MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW58. Now apply any um, face powder of your choice to the areas that did not have any powder on it. And I accidentally deleted this clip, but I applied blush and highlight. And my new favorite lip combination right now is a chocolate brown lip liner pencil, MAC Honey Love lipstick, and Dare You lip gloss on top. And that pretty much completes this look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please leave any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section, and I will talk to you all in another video. Have a good night. Bye.